welcome back to Jen Beauty. My name is Jennifer and here on my channel I like to chat about all things beauty and makeup. So today I have an update to the Pantastic Ladies collab. It's Panning Cats and Dogs. This was created by two of my favorite panners that I love to watch. Danny from Danny's Makeup and Deb of Deb B. I'll link their channels below. Um, this project consists of about 42 prompts and um, is rolling style. The updates are on the 22nd of each month. And um, if I missed anything, I'll have all the deets in the description box below. Um, I don't want to jinx myself, but I think this might be the most prepared I've ever been for an update. We'll see. So um, I'm scooted over to the side so that I can pop pictures in here. And um, I'm just going to go in order of my prompts. I'll go ahead and let you know that I have nothing rolling out, which means I have nothing rolling in, but I have progress and that is my ultimate goal here is progress. So let's get into it. The first prompt that I rolled in, well, not the first that I rolled in, the first one we're going to go over is best of breed, which is tell us about your pet. And um, I will link the intro below so that you can hear all about my beautiful Chloe. And um, for this one, I rolled in the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. And my goal is to use this 14 times. I've only used it four. Um, now, one thing to note is I did start this project a little late, but I'm trying to do my update on time. We'll see. Um, because I'd like to be more on track with the monthly updates that everyone's doing. So I don't have the full like four weeks of 30 days, whatever, of progress. Um, but I am working on a primer for my Partners in Cream project pan, and that project ends soon. So I've only used this a few times. Honestly, I want to use this. I don't enjoy the primer that's in the other project, um, but I committed to finishing that primer, so I'm going to finish it and I've been sprinkling this one in when I need a break. I actually really enjoy this primer. I'm probably going to shed actual tears when it is gone. I mean, I won't, but it feels like I will. Um, and my total usage when I rolled it in, it was 39.79 grams. It's now 37.64 grams for a total change of 2.15 grams. And there's a huge air bubble in this, so I didn't mark it to start, and I'm not going to mark it now, but um, there is definitely like an indentation, and you can see some usage on it, but um, there was just not really any way for me to get it to settle. I mean, it's a primer, so it's a little bit thicker. Um, the next prompt is number six, Siamese. And this is Loudest Purrs, product that makes you purr with delight. And for this, I rolled in my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Kush. And my goal is to use this 20 times. So far, I have used it 10 times. And I did have some usage on it before. Um, but this is what it's looking like now. And I'll throw in a better like close-up picture um, so as you can see, I did hit pan, but I'm still going to do the other 10 uses. Um, I seem to have like a little bit of hard pan there. So I had to really kind of like swirl a brush in to get it. Um, I've been using it as an inner corner highlight. I don't like it all over the lid. So this probably will be used primarily as an inner corner highlight. Um, it's a beautiful shade. Like it's just a straight like... I will swatch it. And um, I was trying to go like around. That's usually what I try to do. Um, but I found I needed to kind of like break through that bit of hard pan I had. So it's like a champagne -y silver shade. Um, but I just find that it really emphasizes the texture on my eyelids. So I don't really love it for that. Um, I find lighter, like very metallic shades emphasize all the texture. 
and um, it looks kind of weird when I have like a really dark outer corner and then a very textured inner corner. I don't know. I think it's just because I have so much texture on my eyelids. Moving along. Um, I'm happy with that progress. I, when I rolled it in, it was 13.52 grams. It now weighs 13.43 grams for a total usage of 0 0.09 grams. So hope to see about the same amount of change in the next 10 uses, but I may not because I'm not gonna be using it all over the lid. We'll see. Um, for number seven, German Shepherd Guard Dog Protector, an item that protects your makeup, like an SPF primer, setting spray powder, etc. For that, I rolled in the BH Cosmetics Paradise Set Hydrating Setting Spray. And um, when I rolled it in, I said I wanted to finish it, and I think that's that's still going to be my goal. It just it may take me this entire project to do it. Um, which is fine. So when I rolled it in, I was at the top line. I'm now at the second line. I didn't have as much movement on this because I was working on another setting okay. spray and, um, it's not a project spoiler. It wasn't in any projects, but I have finished it. So you'll see it in my empties at the end of the year. Um, but now that that's done, this will be my focus setting spray. The next item I rolled in is number 12, ID Tax. Oh, let's back that thing up. For the setting spray, when I rolled it in, it was 123.59 grams. It now weighs 121.05 grams for a total change of 2.54 grams. Um, so now the next item is number 12, ID Tags, product that starts with the first letter of your name. For that, I chose the Makeup Geek Eyeliner in Gunmetal with a goal to finish. So for this one, um, this top line is where it was when I rolled it in, and this bottom line is where we are now. So I'm pretty happy with that amount of progress. Um, and the total usage was... Um, 4.52 grams when I rolled it in, 4.47 grams now for a total usage of 0 0.05 grams. I don't find myself reaching for this anywhere near as much as I thought I might because I find myself wanting brown eyeliners more lately. Today I did a brown and then I was like, let me play around with my Stila eyeshadows that I don't like because they're not glittery and that's what I want. Um, again, I feel like they just emphasize the texture and they're starting to dry out. Shocker, I know. Um, but I want to get my $7 worth that I paid for them at TJ Maxx. So I decided to try them as an eyeliner today and I quite like it. Um, so I probably will work on using them up that way before they totally dry out. Um, but I think I'll be able to finish this still. I don't think I need to change my goal, but we'll reevaluate at the January update. And then I have number 17, Sharpay, um, skincare product that combats wrinkles. And I rolled in my pure um, submerge, what are you called? Yeah, overnight detox anti-pollution moisturizer. And I've made decent progress on this. Um, it's a weirdly shaped product. It is asymmetrical. Um, <laughs> so I've used up about this much on this side and then this side is even with the container. Since it's so difficult to quantify that in this weird container, um, I started at 149.35 grams. I'm now at 134.8 grams for a total amount used of 14.55 grams. I'm pretty happy with that progress. I feel like maybe I can get that done before the end of the year, but we'll see. I don't want to like overpromise myself. And then the last prompt that I rolled in was cat tree number 32. Um, item with asymmetrical packaging or stackable products. So <laughs> when I rolled this in, it was, um, I'll have to pop a picture in. The tip of the applicator was asymmetrical. 
However, I noticed that the packaging was broken within like a couple days of rolling the product in. So I had to decant it into this itty bitty baby. So it's no longer in asymmetrical packaging, but because that's what it came in, I'm going with it. I've already started it. I've already made progress. Um, I do have pictures that I will pop in of what it looked like before the broken packaging and what it looked like when I rolled it into this container. So from the time that I rolled it in to the time that I decanted it, I had 0.36 grams used. When I decanted it into here, um, it was 13.17 grams and now weighs 12.32 grams for a total of 0.85 grams used. Um, and just in this container, I don't even know if I said what this is. This is the Sigma lip conditioning mask. And I did not add up how much total that was used between the two containers. So one moment. All right. So that's a total change of 1.21 grams. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with how much I have used. I use this Every single time I sit down to do my makeup, we're like right even with the container right here. Um, so every time I do my makeup, I use this. And then a lot of times when I'm doing my skincare at night, I will go ahead and throw this on as well then. Um, I don't think I need it as much, like as frequently as that, but this container is very, um, like it gets very sticky because it's not really meant to be in that container. And so I do kind of want to push through it and get that one done um, and then move on to my next lip treatment mask that I enjoy so much more. <laughs> so that's it for today's update. Um, like I said, I unfortunately don't have any roll outs, which means I don't have any roll ins, but next time I think we will. I don't know why I said that's it for today's update because I still have more crap to say. Um, so for next update, I think I can definitely have this one as a rollout. I can definitely have this one as a rollout. Um, this is a long haul, probably till the end. <laughs> this is probably going to take me like six months. I might be able to finish this by the next update. It may take me until January. I think I can make great progress on it, at least. I can commit to that. And then this one, I think it's gonna take me a minute. There's there's more product than what you think there would be in here. I'm not gonna lie though, I kind of like having it in a container where I can see my progress as opposed to the one before where I just kind of had to guess. Anyways, so now that's it for today's update. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you are thinking about joining, all the detail is below and I absolutely hope that you do. Um, check out the Fantastic Ladies Facebook page and um, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a big thumbs up and if you would like to see more makeup and beauty content from me, hit that subscribe button and I'll have more coming at you. <sighs> I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day. Bye. <clears throat> Great start. I feel like my eye makeup has just slowly drove down my face today. It is what it is. Mm -hmm.